Today we're installing the Mad Jacks Alpha Body Kit designed for the club car precedent. Included in the kit is the front cowl, the rear body, as well as an optional hood scoop and rear trim piece. You also have two options for a front grille, the chrome styled off-road or the color matching front street style. Also included are the new front extension brackets, a hardware pack, your headlight mounting tabs, your taillight mounting tabs, a front cowl mounting bracket, two headlights with daytime run light features, two taillights, and a new bucket harness. Now let's get started. You'll notice we removed the protective coating from the body and the cowl. This is for video purposes only. During your installation, we highly recommend to leave the coating on to reduce scratches. To begin, turn your key switch to off and engage your park brake. Then I want you to take off the top canopy, your front struts, and your rear strut and basket assembly. Now you're going to remove and retain the four screws that hold on the front brow. Now you can take out your cowl. Now to remove the fascia, we're going to first detach our front bumper and retain. Now we're going to remove the front fascia by taking out the five screws that's located underneath the front underbody. You also need to take out a screw that's located on each side of the underbody. Finally, remove the three screws located on top of the front underbody. Now we can reattach the brow for our front underbody using the same screws. If you're installing the optional hood scoop, before you attach the front cowl, you want to drill out the six indentations located on the inside. You'll notice we have a mark here on the white cowl for video purposes only. You'll use an eighth inch drill bit and drill all the way through the cowl. On the bottom side of your hood scoop, you'll notice six mounting points. These mounting points match the same holes that we just drilled out of our cowl. You're going to take the hardware that's supplied with your hood scoop and install it through the bottom of the cowl and into the hood scoop. Now we're ready to attach our grill to our front cowl. We're going to use the color grill for this installation, but both of these grills mount exactly the same. You'll notice 12 mounting points on the back side of the grill. The middle, outside, two, will not be attached yet. We're gonna attach our mounting bracket to these points. So now you're gonna take the hardware provided and from the back side of the cowl, you're gonna insert just like we did on the hood scoop into the front grill. Now we're going to install our headlights. You'll notice that there's eight small L brackets included in your kit. These L brackets will attach to the mounting tabs on the back side of the headlight cutouts. You're going to attach the mounting brackets using the small hardware provided. Out of the eight brackets, four are identical. The larger four are what we're going to start on first. We're going to attach these to the lower tabs here, which is the bottom side of our cowl with the slotted section of the bracket pointed towards the inside hole where our headlight will attach. Fully secure all four to the cow. Now we're gonna take the two small brackets and attach them to the tabs located on the inside of the cow. This will be the sharp point of the headlight cutout. Again, remember that the slotted section needs to point towards the inside of the cutout. Using the remaining two brackets, attach these to the outer holes here and here. And again, make sure the slots are pointed to the inside. 
At this point, we have all of our brackets installed and we can move on to our headlights. To install your headlights, first thing you wanna do is remove the four wing nuts located on the back side. Make sure the springs do not come off. Now you're gonna insert the headlight into the cowl with the screw heads going in to the slotted holes. Then you can reattach your wing nuts and you'll adjust the headlights later. We're gonna repeat this process on the other side. In order to attach our cowl, we're gonna assemble our mounting bracket. You're gonna take the longer L bracket here and attach the triangle bracket to the back side. You wanna make sure the tab that's folded up here on the triangle bracket goes to the inside of the channel like this. From here, these two holes will mount to the cow. You're gonna attach this using the six millimeter hardware provided. Make sure to feed the bolt through the front of the L bracket into the triangle bracket as shown. Once both bolts are in place, tighten your hardware. Now you're gonna take the shorter L channel and attach it to the bottom of the triangle bracket as shown. Now using the remaining hardware, you're gonna attach the mounting bracket to the back side of the grill in the two leftover mounting locations. Using the supplied frame extensions, insert them into the OEM frame. Now we're gonna use our cowl and our mounting bracket and we're gonna attach the mounting bracket to the center bolt hole using the retain hardware. Once both bolts are in place, then tighten. Using the screws from pack number three, secure the cowl to the front brow Ensure that the cow is pushed tight up against the brow edge here. Make sure that the new cow goes back into the factory cow's channel on both sides. Now you can adjust the headlights to your preference. Simply tighten or loosen the wing nuts to get the correct angle. Attach your factory bumper to the new frame extensions using the long eight millimeter bolts supplied in your kit. Once both bolts are in place, tighten hardware. Reattach your factory brow trim using the retain hardware to the same mounting location. To get started on the rear, remove your bottom seat cushion, and then remove and retain the four screws located on the rear body in these locations. Remove and retain the two screws that hold the four reverse switch on. Once your four reverse switch is loose, record the sequence that your three wires are plugged into the switch, and then unhook them. You're ready to remove your rear body. At this point, we're ready to install our new style bucket harness. For help with that, please click the link below. Remember that the four pin plugs go to the rear and the three pin go to the front headlights. The Alpha bucket harness has four pin rear tail light connectors. This is why you will need to use the Alpha bucket harness even if you already have a pre-installed bucket harness or pre-installed club car harness. 
Using the remaining four screws in your hardware pack, we're going to attach the mounting brackets for the rear tail lights to the back side of the tail light. We're going to start on the driver's side, which has the white four pin connector. The passenger side has a red four pin connector. Flipping the light over, you'll notice two mounting holes here and here. We're going to take our bracket, and the bracket that matches the correct side will not overhang the back of the bezel. So we're going to attach one screw here and one screw here, the other two will not be used. If your bracket does not line up evenly around the outside of the light here, you have the wrong bracket on the back of the light. We're going to repeat this on the passenger side. Before we install our rear body, I want to show you how you're going to attach the rear tail lights. There's a pre-drilled hole in the underbody located here on each side. The bracket when the body kit is placed in, we'll push into this hole and you can screw it in with an eight millimeter bolt from the bottom side of the underbody. So let's go ahead and place our new rear body in the same channels that we removed the old OEM body. Now that we have our body in place, we're going to attach our rear tail lights. You want to go ahead and plug it into your new bucket harness. Again, the driver's side tail light will have the line here on the left side, which is the outside. This is your blinker. You want to take the 8 millimeter hardware that's left over in your hardware pack and run it up through the bottom of the underbody and tie in to the bracket that holds the back of the rear tail light on. We're going to repeat this on the passenger side. Now is a good time to attach your front headlights to the harness. Once your tail lights are in place, you can secure your body using the factory hardware in the battery box. Then we're going to install our FNR switch. Once you've reattached all of your factory components, you're now finished installing the Madjax Alpha body kit designed for the club car precedent.